guys, welcome to Nine's Corner. I hope you're doing well, feeling well, wherever you are, at whatever time you are, welcome. I hope you enjoyed my little intro. That is actually my son playing the guitar. It's a song that he wrote. He's got a few tracks he's working on and oh, there's just like two or three songs that I absolutely love. So he let me have permission to play that one for my intro. So that was him. And today I thought, well, I almost did a reading on Megan McCain. Did you see her on The View? What an ignoramus. I mean, really, like, she was defending Green and just being so dismissive. Like, who does she think she is? But we've already done a reading on her. She's just going to go away eventually. But I am going to do a reading on Chrissy Teigen. And I thought I would take out my movie tarot cards, which is a which was a Christmas gift from my son who wrote the song. So I thought that would be a little bit fun for a change. But I have a couple of important things I want to look at first. One is there's a lot of noise and talk about the Wuhan uh, lab leaking. I want to uh, just refresh. I thought we just refreshed what we said over a year, year and a half. I want to do like a Saturday Night Live, like... <laughs> so... As I believe that the coronavirus probably came from a lab. I don't, however, believe that this was a planned uh, attack. I think this was something that got out, somebody got sick, they let it out of the lab. But it means that, yes, they were planning on something. It came out quicker than they expected. They didn't have control of it. And this Queen of Wands is somebody who's... Let's do an updated reading on the Wuhan lab leak and see what's going to be the result of it all. Ooh. So here it's showing sabotage in the past, secrets, dark deeds being done behind closed doors for a dark purpose. Here's the tower. We are 100% going to be finding out more information about it. Five of Wands. So yeah, there's going to be some discussions. There's going to be some arguing. The fact that the Five of Wands is here is really bothersome because I just feel like even if they did find out that China knew about it and it did come from the lab and they didn't do anything, it's like nobody's willing to make them accountable and Russia's got them, you know, holding them up. It's like, ooh. But there's definitely, you know, done in the lab. We are going to find out about it. There's going to be more information. They just can't hide it. It's going to take a long time, but it's like the stability of everything that they want to try to hide is going to come down to us finding out about it over time. But they will come to some sort of compromise where they will... Are they going to let China away with all of this? You know, I, I just... I raise my hands up, I can't take it. I think that they will know it and basically give them a slap on the hand and say, hey, you got to pay some money. Now, hefty money because we got the King of Pentacles, but considering what they've done. Hmm. Next question. I was asked, I was actually, I think it was in my, in the comments because I, saw one that they were talking about New Brunswick, Canada here. There's this virus or some kind of uh, brain disease that they have found in New Brunswick, which is killing people and they don't know where it's coming from. So somebody asked, could I have a quick look in? And I thought, yes, let's have a quick look in and see what's happening with New Brunswick. What is causing this brain disease and they're saying that just in case anybody's going to get kerfuffled no it has nothing to do with coronavirus because this they had seen this virus back in 2015 or 2013 or something to that effect so what caused the issue ok 
so the overall feeling is the fool. The fool travels. So what? It's it's a traveling. I don't think it's going to just stay in the Brunswick. Unfortunately, I think you're going to see some cases of it popping up. I think right now with everything going on, that there's just so much happening with coronavirus that maybe the cases aren't being really pointed out or we're just not hearing about it type of deal. Ace of Wands, again, here you've got the beginning of travel, the beginning of something happening. So we're in the early stages of it. It's coming out of travel. This just, there's something, it, it somehow, some way it traveled. Did it come on boat? Did it come on an animal? Ooh, justice. There's going to be legal issues dealing with this. Wow. Okay. All right. So there's going to be travel, legal issues. So it's got, it was brought in by something or somebody. Oi! Five of Swords. Somebody's going to have to pay the piper. Holy moly. I really wasn't expecting this at all. I'm just like, what? Um, again, with the five of swords there, because five shows the kerfuffling. The five shows that somebody's going to be defeated. So there's going to be a legal case and somebody's going to be held accountable for this, whatever's happening here. There's, there's, they know something about it, guys. They definitely know something about it. Okay. So we got the star. That's a really good thing. For one, mm. okay. Yes, the star is hopeful, but at the same time, the star could indicate spreading. Let's just, let's just, is this going to spread? Oh, my. Yes, I think this is going to spread. Three of cups. They'll... Yeah. You're going to hear about some cases. There's going to be money and, and you know, um, they're going to have to look into this. They're going to be able to find a solution, find a reasoning, but there's something to do with money, something to do with travel. It got brought in. There's going to be a company or something that's going to be held responsible. This is not just, you know, out of the blue. Oh, what is this? This is something that came through some sort of travel, whether, whether, whether it be on an animal or on food or packaging or something to that effect. It'll work out, but it's, it is going to uh, definitely have something to do with travel. All right. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. So the next question we're going to ask about. So the next question we're going to ask about is Mr. Andrew Giuliani. Giuliani's son has decided that he is going to run for... New York mayor. You know they need another Giuliani there. You know they need him. <laughs> oh, I, I and I honestly, I have no clue about this kid. I didn't, I, I didn't even hear about him until I found out he was running. And I just something, something weird and snaky about that. But anyway, right out of the gate, you got your emperor. So here's Giuliani. Um, definitely Giuliani is going to be a big influence or a, he was a big influence for him to put his, his hat in the ring. Um, if, if Andrew Giuliani is married or, you know, with a significant other, he's having extramarital affairs. Hmm. Queen of Swords, so, you know, he's not happy to be doing what he's doing. It's almost like there's a a need to fulfill something for his father. He's got to be faithful to his father. He's got to do something. There's a legality here. 
and there's going to be information that's going to affect him coming out about his father. It's like he's he's got himself into something he has no idea about. So you got the Four of Wands, small successes, but not going to win the big, you know, golden ring. So he may do better than what people are expecting him to do. And it might put the little, you know, fear in us because we don't want any more um, Trumpsters getting in. But I see him not winning, but he will make some inroads. The end result is going to be the Ten of Wands. So at the end of it, he's going to persist, even though he knows this is a losing battle. But he has no other choice. He's doing it to be faithful to his father. It's going to be a major strain on his life, a major strain on his marriage, if his marriage is not already over. No. Eight of Cups. He's definitely going to be walking away. Uh, he'll stay until... He'll, he'll go for it. He's not going to walk away until there's nothing more he can say. But this is going to be walking away into something better for him. Like, he's just going to find a new avenue to go down. Really, right? So, I don't see him becoming anything in New York. When, when Or, I shouldn't say that. Um, I do not see him... I do not see him winning governor of New York. He may have some surprising wins. Maybe a bit of money coming his way. Support. But... It'll be too much, and he'll end up walking away and going into something else. It's not like he's going to be, you know, hurting for money or anything. So, our final question. I'm going to ask about Chrissy Teigen. Um, she's, Chrissy Teigen is the one that's married to John Legend, who's on The Voice. You know, the one that sings, every wedding has the song. I give my all to you. You give your world to me. You're a mess. Um, but she's been caught up in a lot of controversy, bullying, and, you know, a lot of talk about her saying really inappropriate things about children and things. Like, really uncomfortable. And, I mean, I kind of reviewed some of it and thought, well, you know, how bad could it be? Really uncomfortable. Like, not things that... So, we've got the Two of Coins. She's definitely weighing out an emotional situation. This is really hitting at home. I say that her and John are having some arguments because this is not just affecting her do dollar. It's going to affect his dollar. It doesn't affect just her relationship. It affects his relationship and their kids. Um, there's definitely a really strong emotional component to this and this is definitely not a time that she should be putting anything in writing she should not be communicating because it will not go over well it just won't page of swords so goodness there's just going to be a lot more information coming out i know that she's you know I can't remember, it was like 20,000 tweets that she removed, or maybe I'm over-exaggerating. I can't remember the exact number. Um, but, I mean, you know, a crazy amount. And just, like, making reference to children doing the splits in a... in a Just a... Uh, anyway. So, with the Page of Swords, there's going to be more information coming out about it. Her and John are definitely going to be fighting about this. There's definitely going to be issues between them. They're going to be working it out. And she's going to have to change direction. She's going to have to change what she does. It's almost like they're going to, you know, not necessarily change career, but maybe do some selfless things to try to change the narrative that's been happening. Two of Swords. Mm. Chrissy is kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. With the Two of Swords, again, there's just... She wants this to be over really quickly, but two, and she's got two of them, means only partial success. So the obstacles are going to remain there for her. They're not going away anytime soon. They're just going to, it's like when she's hoping to get, it's finally, you know, changing or some positivity is coming out of it. Something else will land into her. 
And again, this is talking about a miscommunication with her husband, with her family, with her friends. People are really giving her the side eye, you know? King of Cups. I have to say, I love him as a, as a comedic actor. What about Bob? One of my most favorite movies, Bill Murray. If you, ha if you really need to have a good, honest laugh that's just silly, watch What About Bob. <laughs> um, okay, sorry. With the King of Cups here, her husband, John, is going to stay by her. He loves her. He's invested in her and his family, and he is going to support her. But it's going to be emotionally draining on both of them. Uh, but for now, he's definitely going to be sticking it out. Uh, again, you know, she's definitely, she's looking at having to probably as a couple work together to kind of get a better narrative going for herself. That look, we're really nice, good people. <laughs> Ooh, Queen of Cups. She's going to be all, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean what I said. I've grown from it. Kumbaya and all that kind of good stuff. Three of Cups, you know. She'll lose some business. She'll lose some energy and time and family issues. She'll lose some supporters. But at the end of the day, she'll come around. She'll manage. She'll manage to, you know, be able to celebrate Eight of Swords. Ooh. But, like I said, with the two twos, there's partial success there. And now with Eight of Swords showing up, that's just letting me know that she's stuck and this is going to be a continuing, like, it's just going to be this ongoing, whenever her name gets mentioned, if something successful happens, next thing they're going to be talking about this. So, Christy Teigen, you got yourself into, you know, some decent trouble. Not nice. So, just in case, if I show it again, the movie Tarot, they're kind of cute. Um my traditional ones i've had these for years um i i like the the rider weight based ones but these ones are really fun and cute now i love the pictures because you know you hit the tower knight of cups you have your celebrities showing up oh i love this one the sun is julie andrews i think that's cute um the lovers broke back mountain but the, you know, like the Six of Swords, the Seven of Swords, it's literally just the swords in different directions. So you really have to know your cards well to be able to work with these particular ones. Just my little, my thought on it. <laughs> so that's our quick reading for tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I have our Unity Candle lit for each and every one of us. And until the next time we talk, guys, cheerio. Take care.